I really, really like to cast Age of Empires. I love to talk about the sieves. I love to talk about the strategies. But occasionally the games get a little dull and the games are a little slow or maybe not so even. And I tend to branch out just a little bit. Now, a lot of these stories just start and stop right away because the game comes back. But some stories are so special that they should be remembered forever. And this is the story of a starting scout. His name is Tobias, who changed the world. This is just a scout. It's just passing. Blue garrisons and does not ring the town bell. And I, I assume that was not intentional, but makes a market and traps red in. Okay, red scout's going to try and leave now. And the eagles fly faster. Okay, blue garrison. Okay, just passing. Garrisons. Ugh. Oh, so close. And I think Red had clicked his scout to go to the to the west. Oh, and it was so close to going down. But I think the scout will actually make it over here. Also, can we talk about the fact that Red researched Light Cav? And that upgraded this unit right here. It's on 4 HP. <laughs> he is... He's the teacher's pet. He must be like the son of the king or something. But he wasn't he wasn't really valuable enough to the king to actually be a general. So he just let him be a scout, you know? It seems it sounds like a movie plot. And the thing is the guy's really nice and he also has to be really attractive too. It's like everyone else is like this brute warrior with no personality. This guy's like real nice. Everything's perfect about him except he's not he hasn't found himself as a warrior yet, you know? And so mean old father sends him away, but then like three-fourths of the way through the movie, the father gets sick. And then the son has to come home on 4 HP, and he has to save the dad. And then the dad's like, oh, I should have valued you all along. All my other like have were not the same. You know what I'm talking about. The classic movie plot. Sometimes I wish T90 had a secondary channel where he just comes up with stories. Yeah, I'm sure that would absolutely kill it. <laughs> Seriously, though. He, he, the dad upgraded him to Light Cav out of pity. It's probably because probably because the queen complained. Sounds like, sounds like a couple medieval movies I've seen. All right. Yep, the Light Cav protected the area. And now, like, the villagers... Like, the villagers are the lowest of the low. These are the plebs, right? And even the villagers don't want to be around the light cav. They're like, get out of here. You suck at life. And so now the poor light cav. What should we name him? What's a good medieval name? A medieval light cav name. So now he's going to go home. He hasn't been home in like three years, right? Economy looks a little bit different. Here he comes. He's come home. And tell me he's going to get healed. Yes! Yes! And the only person that shows faith in him is the monk. Yet this is literally a movie. This is what... We've seen this before. I don't know which one it is. But you guys know what I'm talking about. He goes home and the only ally he has is the monk. Monk heals him up. He's like, no. The monk is what really is instilling confidence in him at this point. Like, no, you're a good person. You can do great things. Now, I, I don't even care about the rest of the game at this point. We're all about this storyline. And now the light cap's going to go out. And he's like, you're right. I can do it. And now he shows up. He's like, hey, guys, I'm here to help. And they're like, ah, screw you. Please, please. Red, move the army away from the light cap for just a second. For the sake of this storyline, just move it away. Okay. All right. Well, uh, well uh, won't get our hopes up too much on that. I should probably cause, uh, cast the game. And okay, here comes blue. Now there's the monk. Oh no! If the monk died, no. Okay, so the monk, the light cav's only friend, dies now in the battlefield, and so now the light cav is so upset, right? And so then, oh man, you know what would be perfect is if he has to go off into the wilderness to find himself. Like he's so depressed, you know. Everyone's telling him to fight it out afterwards, but he can't. He's just so depressed. So he's got to go off into, like, this corner here, right? And he's just got to sit and think about it. 
and then he's going to come back the most ferocious light cap we've ever seen. Oh, it was a different monk. No, it wasn't. It was the same monk. Just don't, don't ruin, don't ruin this, okay? It wasn't a large budget for this movie, okay? Don't get, don't get too nitpicky. Um, all right. What, what are we naming the light cap again? Because I think this is about to get serious. I forget. We establish a name? I don't think we did. I think you guys gave me ideas. <clears throat> um, why does Blue need two siege workshops if he's not making siege? I mean, he can make siege. He's got treps. It's good to have the buildings. Scout Tobias the fourth. <laughs> okay, I like that. Scout Tobias the fourth. <laughs> okay, that's that's what I choose. Sorry to everyone else. No, he's not named Tristan. Don't name him after me. There is actually a a Magyar Hussar hero in the game named Tristan, but this is a light cap, so it's a different story. Where's Tobias? Guys, where's Tobias? Oh, he's still- he's not moving! <laughs> what a coward! His dad was right! His dad was right! That's not the plot twist you expected here. You- you thought it was gonna be a happy ending. Nope. In our movie, the king was justified in calling his king a coward. Well, the Aztecs are here, the Aztecs are shredding. Well, at this point, Tobias seems the wisest one because he's decided to uh, not leave himself exposed. Okay, Tobias is still still standing there. He will oversee the building of the new new castle. Oh no, it was Tobias who ordered it. Okay, okay. Listen, small pause. I know we need to actually cast the game, but since we're invested, what happened was his father was in that battle, okay? So he hadn't yet mustered up the courage to be one of the warriors. So his father just died in battle, okay? And now he's like, I demand we build a castle in this spot. And they're like, but sire, we just lost the war in that area. Does that not sound like a poor move? And he's like, I had a vision. Or he's like, no, we must do it for my father. So he's really hell bent on this castle and everyone thinks he's crazy. So the story's still alive, okay? The story is still alive. I thought his dad was the monk. No, get it right. That was his mentor. His father didn't really believe in him, though. Get it right. Pay attention, guys. Pay. You should have read the books. The books are way better than the movie. T I'm telling you, Tobias is a wuss, man. I mean, that or he's really smart and he knows how to stay alive. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. This is the moment. Now, this- I guarantee you Red had no clue how important this fight was when he was playing the game. Uh, Tobias has gone down! Oh no! Who would have thunk it? And I didn't really think of a plot point to introduce this character. This was supposed to be for the next season, but we lost funding because of this awful plot. So, we just kill him off. Um, another castle goes down for Red. Red, desperate to kill whatever's here and just losing it all every single time. Um, you know, Red, his cab archers, as I said, needed more upgrades. <laughs> also, <clears throat> excuse me, you need to micro cab archers. Um, which... I think Tobias was a clear example. Maybe the micro isn't where it needs to be. <laughs> His son Tristan will avenge him. Okay, first off, it's not I A N, buddy. I I, it's A N. All right, get it right. Never want to misspell Tristan. It's not cool. God, when I used to work retail, uh, we used to have like quite a few elderly customers come in, and every time they would see my name tag, they'd be like, "Oh, your name's Tristan. How's I's old?" Which is like an old. I think it's an old opera. I think they re remade it at one point. Anyways, I just got so sick of that. <laughs> so sick of that joke. <laughs> and uh, you, Duke just reminded me of that. That's true. He could have been talking about a different Tristan. How conceited of me. 
How conceited of me to assume that he was talking about me, Tristan. If only Red knew about Tobias. <laughs> I swear though, that was such a crazy situation, right? I know, I know I'm ridiculous and I know I probably need to get my head checked. But that felt like a decent sized plot there for, for some type of show or movie for a little bit. And then uh, it got way too realistic. Well played, Blue. Uh, in this story, uh, you were the villain, but you did play well. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gents, for watching this one. Um, I know it's a little different from what we typically send to the channel, but I've been trying to spice it up of late. Uh, let me know, please, uh, any side stories, backstories, or any other ideas you have to the plot of Tobias the Great. Or was it the fourth? I forget at this point. Damn it. E either way, um, we'll take care of that in post-production and maybe get this to Hollywood uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you like this crazy stuff, and maybe I'll go off on tangents and stories more in the near future. Thank you.